Drawing forces is easy once you know how to do it. Physicists draw forces in two dimensions, and the size of the arrow shows you how large the force is. The larger the force, the larger the arrow. Take this picture of a car driving. The green arrow shows the force of the car as it drives. The red arrow shows the forces of the air. The air resistance is equal and opposite to the force from the car's engine, so we need to draw the arrows equal and opposite as well. The air resistance is equal to the driving force, so the car must be traveling at a constant speed. If we were to increase the driving force, the car would initially speed up. We can show this by changing the size of the green arrow. The car is now getting faster, so we can say the car is accelerating. Once the car has accelerated, the force of air resistance has increased, so we must draw the red arrow larger. Now these arrows are equal and opposite. They must cancel each other out so there is no overall force and the car's speed remains the same. If we reduce the driving force of the car, the air resistance initially remains the same, but we must make the driving force arrow smaller. The speed of the car therefore reduces, and we say that the car has a negative acceleration. So, for an object to change speed, there must be an unbalanced force acting upon it. For an object to remain at the same speed, a balanced force must be acting upon the object.